Tonight's special segment, potential relief for people who love food that doesn't love them back. Millions of Americans suffer from heartburn. Now an alternative treatment that may provide some relief. Health Beat reporter Sylvia Perez here with the story. Sylvia. Kathy and Ron, there are medications that can help control the symptoms of reflux. They're called proton pump inhibitors, but they don't always work for everyone. Now there is some concern about long-term use and bone health. Patients are hoping for a permanent, safe, and easy fix. And a newer procedure just might be the answer. It was very hard because I grew up on Italian food. I had to switch to more bland food, which I'm, I just don't like bland food. Elvira Cairo's story is a familiar one. Her heartburn started out as a nuisance and then got so bad it was ruining her life. Sometimes I bent over with the pain. It was horrible. I had it really bad. She had more than a routine case of GERD, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is caused when the valve between the esophagus and the stomach isn't working right, allowing acid to flow upward, causing heartburn and indigestion. Over time, Cairo needed more and more medication. So when doctors at West Suburban Medical Center in Oak Park suggested an alternative approach to fix the underlying problem, she was game. You don't burn any bridges with this operation. There's no incisions. There's um, very little recovery time. People don't feel a lot of pain. The surgery is called transdural incisionless fundiplication, or TIF. With specialized equipment, surgeons go through the mouth and down to the esophagus and stomach to reshape the weak valve using existing tissue. The surgery uses a device called the esophix. It is based on the gold standard in reflux surgery called fundiplication, which has proven to be very successful over the years. Proponents of this endoscopic technique say there is no visible scarring and it carries less risk of infection or discomfort and a quicker recovery. For younger patients who don't want to be on medication the rest of their life, it's appealing. It creates a permanent valve, a permanent change, and it doesn't go away. There have been similar promises before about long-term fixes with other minimally invasive methods, but most don't work. Experts say part of the problem is this area of the body is not just delicate, it is very dynamic and restoring the original anatomy can be tricky. The caveat to that is, is that, you know, 50 percent of these people may be back on some type of anti-reflux medication uh, within five or ten years. So the operation doesn't always last forever. At Northwestern Memorial Hospital, doctors are optimistic about this latest approach but are not yet convinced about the durability. Esophix is FDA approved, but some clinics across the country will keep track of results with company funded research. The FDA still wants us to keep tabs of this, they want us to evaluate this, and they want us to be more rigorous than we were in the past. It's been about nine months since Elvira Cairo had the procedure. The misery of heartburn, for now, is in the past. I would say 95 percent gone. Gone. It's a wonderful mm, feeling. Perfect. Now, this procedure has been around for several years, and more hospitals are now offering it. Still, some doctors say it's going to take time before they know if it lasts as long as the gold standard surgery. According to the manufacturer of Esophix, most insurance companies will cover this cost. And then a reminder from the experts, the first step in controlling GERD should be lifestyle modifications, such as losing weight, propping up your mattress at night if you're having issues, keeping a food diary, eating some of the right foods, and... We were just talking about this right before we came back out on camera, and all of that Jerry can and make his a difference, food diary. Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it might help, Jerry, yeah. Thanks.